We've used SwiftUI's text field view several times already, and it's great when these ones to edit a small amount of text. But for longer pieces of text, you might want to switch over to a different view called text editor. This expects to be given the same kind of two-way binding to a text string, but has the additional benefit of allowing multiple lines of text to be entered. So it's better when you want to give users a large amount of space to work with. Now, mostly because it has nothing in the way of special styling, actually using text editor is much easier than using a text field. You can't adjust its style or its placeholder text. It's just fixed. You just bind a string and that's it. However, you do need to be careful when you make sure it does not go outside the safe area. That means uh, have a navigation stack or a form or similar. Otherwise, typing will get tricky. For example, we can make the world's simplest little notes app by combining a text editor with the app storage property wrapper like this. I could say at app storage notes, private var notes is an empty string. And then the view body, I could say give me a navigation stack with a text editor inside. It's text bound to dollar notes with a nav title of notes and then a little bit of padding around it like so. And uh, that's kind of it. <laughs> we can go in here, press the thing, and then just start typing, uh, hello world. Uh, this is a long test of me typing into a Swift UI text editor view. As you can see, it's wrapping across many lines. If I select that again and again, just paste it like so, uh, you will see how, let's do it again perhaps, Grab all that stuff, please, or not. Oh, a bit slow at all. Uh, eventually, it'll figure it out. Come on. Pasty, pasty, pasties. No. Yeah, cool. Anyway, eventually, it'll figure out that um, we... Uh, so you're typing, you are typing, it's being useless. Oh, anyway, look, point is it is uh, scrolling up and down. You can see it, it's about working like that. It is a neat way to handle scrolling editable text in SwiftUI. Big warning before I continue, by the way, using app storage here to store information is great. It's just user defaults for doing simple things, but it does not store secure information. Don't put usernames in there, passwords, anything private at all. Never use that for private information. Anyway, there's a reason I said you might want to use text editor as opposed to saying you should use text editor, which is that Swift UI actually provides a third option which is better in some situations. When we make a text field like this, let's do text field, enter your text uh, with its text bound to dollar text like that. And I'll give this thing a little border so it's easy to see, text field style, random border. Um, when we do that, as well as providing some, oh, let's call it notes by accident, let's call it, it's fine, whatever, there we go, notes. Um, as well as providing the, placeholder text and the current value for the text right here, we can also provide an axis which tells SwiftUI uh, which direction this text field can grow along. And this means the text field starts out as a single line piece of text. But then as you type more things into it, it grows upwards automatically like the iMessage chat box does, for example. That starts one line, grows and grows, you type more. So here, for example, uh, I've got lots of notes. Uh, here's our text. Let's delete all that, all being well. Uh, you can see it's all one line right now. This is just one line of text and it means you can't see very much. Great, very much. And that's fine, but if we say actually instead, use the same two parameters, but add an axis to this of dot vertical, scroll this thing, sorry, grow this thing vertically, now we'll get something slightly different. It'll look the same initially, the one line thing with end your text grayed out. If I write here, this is now an expanding text. Uh, come on, Hudson, text field. And when I reach, there we go, the end of the line, it will automatically grow just a bit. So you can see it's resizing dynamically to fit the amount of text I have typed into, which is very, very nice. Uh, it is worth trying out both and see what you think, see which one you prefer at any given time, because you'll use both these approaches at some point. They're both useful at different times. I love the way text field automatically expands. It's the same thing iMessage does. It's a natural way 
for users to interact with this thing very nicely. But sometimes it is helpful to say, you know, here users, here's one big empty text you'll type things into. You don't want to see one little typing area. So those type as much as they want to, there's more space available to them. Um, as a reminder, SwiftUI does change the way uh, its views look when they're placed inside things like a form. And so please make sure and try the expanding text field or a text editor inside and outside a form to really see how their look and feel vary.